Heavy hearts tonight in northern Kentucky where a high school football game turned out to be so much more. Good evening for most players, coaches, and fans. Friday night football provides a getaway from the worries of the past week. Tonight at Simon Kenton High School, it was so much more. Reporter Bryce Onslinger is live with the story you'll see only on Nine on Your Side. Bryce? Well, that's right, Julie. Simon Kenton won a close game here at their high school against Dixie Heights, but the outcome was not nearly as important as being with friends, family, and his team for Dixie Heights high school coach David Brossard. Thank you. Before the sounds of football took over the night at Simon Kenton High School, Dixie Heights head coach David Brossard and fans from both teams took a moment to remember his wife, Chris Brossard, who just this week lost her 14 month battle with breast cancer. She was the kind of person that if you met her, you liked her. If you knew her for five minutes, you loved her. Charlie Reynolds is Chris Brossard's father. Tonight, he sat beside many of the people who have supported his family through the months of treatment as Chris fought her cancer. Been a tough ride for the family, but the support has been. Incredible. Chris Brossert was a mainstay on the Colonel's sideline. A big reason there was never any question that she wanted her husband to continue coaching his players even after her diagnosis. Brossert says his wife was his best friend, someone much stronger than him, and always supportive of his coaching career. And tonight, just three days after she passed away, he was there as his players wore his wife's initials on their helmets. Chris made it clear that he should continue to do his job and, and to coach. It was one thing that made her happy, and it's just what he should do. He's got his kids, his wife, and, and without this team, this is, this is like half of his family out here on the field. Coaching has been an escape for Brossard, who says sports and Friday nights brought he and Chris together. Tonight, their love also brought two schools together, both showing support for Brossard and breast cancer awareness. And Brossard knows his team did all they could to get him a win tonight, but just fell five points short. But just giving him the outlet of coaching was certainly enough. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live from Independence. Powerful night there tonight. Thanks, Bryce.